Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. A couple of weeks ago, I was streaming and working on deck lists and came across a card that I had all but forgotten about. I remember wanting to make a deck around her, but haven't had the time. So today, we're going to rectify that. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Mari the Killing Quill is a 3-mana three 3-2 three legendary vampire assassin. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, we exile it with a hit counter on it. Additionally, Mari gives assassins, mercenaries, and rogues we control death touch and, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, we may remove a hit counter from a card that player owns in exile. If we do, we draw a card and create two treasure tokens. The most powerful thing you can do in Commander is ramp and draw cards, and Mari does both. So this will be a mono-black blow-your-stuff-up deck. I think that modern-day Magic players have forgotten the fear that an untapped Royal Assassin creates, so the goal is to help remind them of that fear. Not only will I kill any creatures that come my way, I will exile it, and then I will draw cards and make treasure tokens. But I wanted to do this on a budget, so this whole deck is one you can pick up for less than $100. At least at the time of recording. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is made famous by their boulders. Solid, reliable, and affordable deck boxes. Boulders are now available in solid colors, like this beautiful green one seen here. Find out if your local game store carries the new Ultimate Guard solid color boulders, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get to our video. I started streaming on Twitch. I've been playing mostly Final Fantasy XIV for the first hour or so, then switching over and making commander decks for future videos. If you'd like to see what I'm working on, check out twitch.tv slash Wildfire. War Room, Rogue's Passage, Bajuka Bog, and 32 Swamps make up the land base for this deck. Grim Hireling, Horde Robber, Zentarim Bandit, Frog Tosser Banneret, Dark Ritual, Black Market, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Charcoal Diamond, Mind Stone, Thought Vessel, Felwar Stone, Heraldric Banner, Thrawn Dynamo, Sword of the Animist, and Sword of Hearth and Home help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Audacious Thief, Blightwing Bandit, Body Launderer, Massacre Girl, Known Killer, Thorn of the Black Rose, Dogged Detective, Morbid Opportunist, Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, Phyrexian Arena, and Greed help us to dig through our deck and find answers. Big Game Hunter, Necrotal, Rathi Assassin, Royal Assassin, Scarblade Elite, Silumgar Assassin, Termination Facilitator, Earwig Squad, Long Goodbye, Feed the Swarm, Defile, Soul Shatter, Go for the Throat, Infernal Grasp, Hero's Downfall, The Eldest Reborn, and Imp's Mischief help us to keep our opponents in line. Massacre Girl, Vona's Hunger, and Force of Despair help us to reset the board as needed. Bold Plagiarist, Suquata Assassin, Virtus the Veiled, Dune Rider Outlaw, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, Aetherborn Marauder, 
Blood Operative, Dark Imposter, Ravenloft Adventurer, Changeling Outcast, Una's Blackguard, Vampire Cutthroat, Shadow Alley Denizen, and Gaunty Lord of Luxury make up the core of our deck. Supporting our plan, we've got Vorpal Sword, Intimidation, Larceny, and Sudden Spoiling. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 51 mana sources split between 35 lands and 16 pieces of RAM. A little heavy, but a lot of those serve double purpose, like War Room or Rogue's Passage. 12 pieces of card advantage, counting our commander. 17 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in our commander and Bajuka Bog. 1 sudden I win card in Vorpal Blade. Now, this isn't really a combo deck, it's more of a value deck. We kill our opponent's creatures, or force them to sacrifice them, then attack unopposed and kill our opponents with our army of rogues and assassins. Death by a thousand cuts, as it were. I know there are some powerful combos you can run in black, but I mostly wanted to go back to the color's roots. Tons of spot removal, smack people in the face, maybe a few unblockable creatures to sneak in and deal more damage. Going old school, as it were. Do you have a Mari the Killing Quill Commander deck? What's your secret deck deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to Magic Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Danan. For only $25, you too can have a Commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Pedro, Tom, Cole, Midge, Detroff, Rally, Frank, Alex, Jenny, Alex, Julio, Michael, Valeri, Kalu, and Aprico. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.